Welcome friends. Now we are going to discuss important multiple choice questions on mutual fund. Here first question says Dash is a company or trust that collects or pulls money from public to invest. And here op options are bank, mutual fund, company, all of these. See friends, basically mutual fund is a company or trust that collects or pulls money from public to invest. So here option B is the right answer. Let us move on the next question and it asks us which of which was the first mutual fund company in India and here options are SEBI, SEBI, SBI, UTI and ICICI. See, we know that uh, unit trust of India that is UTI. So here option C is the right answer. UTI was the first mutual fund company in India. Let us move on the next question and next question says what is the full form of uh, UTI and here options are unit total of India, union team of India, unit trust of India, union trust of India. So here option C that is unit trust of India is the full form of UTI. So here option C is the right answer. Next question says UTI, UTI was established in the year. And here options are 1947, 1950, 1953 and 1963. Friends, UTI was established in 1963. So here option D is the right answer. Let us move on the next question. And next question says generally mutual funds invest their funds in. And here options are lands, share market, banks and gold. So we know the generally mutual funds invest their funds in share market. So here option B is the right answer. Let us move on the next question and it says the total funds of mutual fund are known as and here options are assets, investments, deposits, portfolio. See friends, the total uh, funds uh, which are with mutual fund uh, company are basically known as portfolio or here uh, one another term is used that is asset under management, AUM that is assets under management. So assets under management, it is the new term, but in uh, uh, previous, uh, traditionally the word portfolio was used. Now it is uh, AUM that is assets under management. So for this question, the total funds of mutual fund are known as portfolio or here uh, even the full form of AV, AUM can be asked that assets under management is the full form of AUM. Let's move on the next question friends and it says a mutual fund is a dash managed investment scheme which is run by a financial company. Mutual fund is a dash so professionally, privately, publicly, governmentally. The question asks us about the management of mutual funds. So a mutual fund is a professionally management investment company. Professionally management uh, uh, investment company invests its fund in the share market. And those professional ma professional managers are generally expert. Okay, they are expert in uh, in financial sector and they manage the mutual fund schemes. So for this question, a mutual fund is a professionally managed uh, investment scheme. So here option A is the right answer. Let us move move on the next question and it uh, asks us to expand NAV. And here options are net asset value. Uh, new asset value, net asset value, net amount value and new uh, asset venture. See friends, NAV stands for net asset value. So here option B is the right answer. Basically when you invest in the mutual fund, you buy NAVs that net asset values are bought by the investors. Okay, this value is uh, 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 decided uh, on the performance of the fund or that scheme. Right. So here NAV stands for net asset value. So here option B is the right answer. Let us move on the next question and it asks us which of the following is are the type of mutual fund schemes and here options are equity scheme, debt scheme, hybrid scheme and all of these. See friends basically uh, equity schemes are run by mutual funds along with equity, uh, equity schemes uh, mutual funds also uh, have their debt scheme. So in equity scheme uh funds are invested in equity shares and in debt scheme funds are invested in debentures or bonds basically so we know that the rate of dividend on equity shares is not fixed but the interest on debenture is fixed or interest on bond is fixed so debt scheme is safe as compared to equity scheme 
and third type is hybrid scheme where a uh, certain portion is invested in equity and certain portion is invested in the debt so basically hybrid scheme is a combination of equity and debt so here a uh, question asks us about the which of the following is are the type of mutual fund so uh, all these three equity scheme debt scheme and hybrid scheme all of these are the types of mutual fund scheme so here option d is the right answer let us move on the uh, next question and it says traditionally mutual funds are categorized as here options are open ended fund close ended funds both see friends traditionally these two terms were used open ended fund and close uh, close and uh, closed ended fund so here option uh, c is the right answer <clears throat> see friends as uh, we in question number 9 we discussed about the mutual fund schemes and question in question number 10 uh, we discuss about the traditional uh, mutual fund types okay now there are various types of mutual fund uh, some funds are customized some uh, as per the uh, demand of the investors the fund has uh, a mutual fund companies have their schemes so there are various types of funds but uh, primarily these mutual fund schemes can be of three types equity scheme debt scheme and hybrid scheme and traditionally mutual funds are categorized as open-ended here friends i have taken a question uh, related to syllabus only if you are interested to know more about the mutual fund how mutual funds uh, uh, give their uh, performance and uh, uh, how the mutual funds has given return in the past if you, you are interested in that please let me know in the comment section i will make video on this topic also right so traditionally mutual funds are categorized as open ended and closed ended so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says which of the following is are not the advantage of mutual fund and here options are professional management diversification huge commission of manager and mitigation of risk now let us discuss one by one this question is about the advantages of mutual fund so first uh, point says professional management yes we have already discussed that mutual funds are managed by uh, professional experts in the financial sectors so professional management is our, then diversification yes mutual funds uh, invest their money in uh, various stocks or in the shares of various companies so basically your funds gets diversified so diversification is one of the advantage then huge commission of manager see friends this is not the advantage this is disadvantage because mutual fund companies charge uh, expense ratio and uh, uh, from that expense ratio commission is paid to the professional manager so huge uh, commission of management it is basically disadvantage of mutual fund schemes right but uh, for new people who don't know about the share markets they can invest in the, into the mutual funds but if you have uh, knowledge about share market and uh, investment then you can invest your money on own there is no need to pay a commission to the manager and last option d says mitigation of risk yes mitigation of risk means risk is reduced so here risk is reduced because uh, mutual fund schemes are managed by professional experts then uh, they invest funds in various company in this way they mitigate risk in some extent but still there is a risk in mutual funds okay similarly so you must uh, have heard that sentence mutual fund schemes are subject to market risk right so it means they don't guarantee that if you invest in mutual funds you will uh, definitely make a profit right it depends on the uh, market and other factors also same uh, uh, risk is there which is there uh, in uh, this which is there in the share market right so for question number 12 see huge commission of manager this is not the advantage of mutual funds right friends here uh, i would like to stop now uh, we'll discuss about the remaining questions uh, in a next video now make sure that you have subscribed the channel and like this video share it with your friends